There's nobody watching, so. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Welcome to uh, Come Up Art Live. Uh, we have a Greg Land Art Drive. Greg's going to be joining us. He's in the middle of doing something, and he's one of those guys where he don't want to stop drawing until he's finished. So as soon as he's done drawing, he will he will, uh, he will pop on. And I'm joined today with by Annika. Hey, Annika. Hey. <laughs> So uh, yeah, we've got we we're, we're going to talk to Greg for just a little bit. Um, he's busy, um, but he, we're definitely going to talk to him for a little bit. And we also have uh, some uh, pieces of art we're going to offer up. We have everything from two hundred dollar pages up to covers, you know, thirty five hundred dollars. So there's going to be an eclectic amount of stuff for hopefully everybody. Um, everything's going to be lettered with the prices on it. So if there's something you want, you can claim it in the comments. Um, if you want to throw an offer out, you can certainly throw an offer out. I don't have a huge margin to work with, but um, you can certainly throw something out there, and I will, I will, I will consider it, look at it, see if there's something I can do with it. But there's no guarantees. Um, but yeah, so how are you doing, Alec? How's everything? Me, I'm okay. Yeah. I got the flu shot and the booster on the same day, so I did that. Ready. And Renee, Renee got Renee got her uh, flu or no her. COVID booster today, and in summer I think got her, got both. Oh, okay. So, yeah. And I, I got, I got mine right before I went to Baltimore. I got the, uh, the double booster. So. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. yeah. I had to go to six three camp so tomorrow for a little bit. So it's a little, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Have you bought anything cool. on uh, on comic car fans this weekend? Hmm. Have I Have bought, bought anything? anything? Yeah. Nope. No. You hold it, hold down. Freeze. You're on a freeze. <laughs> I'm on a freeze. Okay, What's a freeze? It means I'm not buying anything. I'm broke. <laughs> I've never, never, never heard of a freeze before. Because I've never actually sustained never my uh, comic buying right. freeze. <laughs> the first time I've actually. Kind well, of I hope everybody else out there is uh is buying some stuff. I hope uh, you all have. Better. Yeah, no. if anybody uh, does uh, claim anything, I'm going to put our email across the bottom here, 4 Uh If anybody didn't see last night, we also did a, an art drop with uh, JJ, with uh, Doug Mankey Art. And um, there was a lot of stuff, that, and, and, and a lot of it's still available. So if you if you want to rewatch it, you can go back. You can just shoot me an email, um, mm -hmm. and I can talk to JJ about uh, getting it before he ships everything out this week. But... Uh, well, we'll wait, while we're waiting for uh, Greg, let's start. Let's start showing some of the art, right? Yeah, let's do it. So <clears throat> we've got a lot of things in here. Um, so let's show the first piece. So here's a cover to Wolverine. Uh, I don't know the issue number. I forget the issue number, uh, but this one is sixteen hundred. I don't know what issue number either. I can't hear anything you're saying. Me? You can't hear me? <laughs> Anika, I can't hear you. I don't know if you're muted or not. I'm not muted. Mark, can you hear me? Nothing. Silence. If you can. I feel like everyone else can hear me. Here comes Bill. What's up, Bill? Oh, man. Just running from panel to panel, it seems like today. <laughs> How are you? Hi, Annika. How are you? Hi, good. How are you, Bill? It's you, Ken. Everyone can hear oh. me. I can hear Bill. All right. <laughs> Oh. Can hear us? My, uh, I can't make my bed as neat as that. <laughs> so I can hear you guys now. Oh, it's the guest room. It's not mine. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so that room's always made. All right. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Taking everyone out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, I could never do a do a show for my bedroom at all. Um, but no, I got done just talking with Matt Allison. It's a lot of fun. He's uh, I've always, he's got a, such a unique style, and he was a pretty cool guy to chat with. So just wrap that up. That's awesome. Greg is uh, finishing a page, and uh, his wife said that he's not one to stop until he's done. So as soon as he's done, he's going to pop on. Cool. So uh, we're, I just started showing a little bit of the art, though, that we have for the drop. Oh, sweet. How's everything going today, Bill? Everything's good. I mean, other than uh, Danny Fingereth, he, he was feeling ill, so he canceled the uh, mm -hmm. 2 o'clock panel. But we just ran the Paulo Rivera uh, sale a little bit longer and that was fun and then just kind of hung out with him after the sale was done so we filled the time a little bit but yeah everything's uh, been good i mean as, as far as the show goes i think we've um the sales uh, the sales totals have doubled since uh, about 10 a.m to this morning so i think a lot of people are 
you know, completing deals and whatnot. So by and large, I mean, I'm pretty happy. I think things are, you know, going in the direction I'd hope that I was a little worried there. You know, the first, we usually have these really strong first days, you know, with sales. Yeah. And uh, this time around, it wasn't like that at all. I mean, it was, uh, you know, I think by the, by 9 PM last night, there were maybe only 200 confirmed sales. And we were, it was like at, you know, maybe, maybe it was getting close to 450,000 in sales, but, uh, but yeah, things have definitely, uh, you know, went up today so i'm happy but uh but yeah you know all, by and large i'm always happy <laughs> with these things going on and I, i'm getting the, and i get happier the closer i get to the close of the show because it's like <laughs> i can finally kick my feet up and um and relax but uh, but i had a lot of fun last night you know with those uh those you know watching the panel with um uh yoshi i mean that, that was a good time i've really never done a show like that before so um so yeah, but I don't want to impede on the uh, the Greg Landing here thing. I actually have to run and get and prep something else, but I wanted to say hi and make sure everything's going well. Uh, yeah, we're just waiting for Greg. His wife, like his wife just texted me a little while ago, so he's he's just finishing up something and he'll be on. So we started to roll out the uh, the a little bit of the art chit chat and stuff. Okay, well I will. I'm going to get out of your way, but I'll, I'll have it on beside me while I'm while I'm working here. But uh, you know, so if you need anything, ping me and I'll I'll definitely be here to help. Sure, absolutely, buddy. All right. I see you. Again. See ya. <coughs> yeah, doing an amazing job with this. Um, it's a lot. I mean, uh, having done SketchCon, uh, which is a little different monster, uh, but it's a lot of prep work that goes into it and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, back, back to the and, I, and if you can monitor the comments for me, yep. I, because I, I can't got see you. Them. That's why uh, I'm here, Ken. Yep. And we'll go through these as many times as we need to. So uh, here's Cyclops number four cover. Ooh. Yeah, this I is like that cool. background. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm going to get all up close. I don't have my glasses on, so <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get a real close up of my face. And this one's pretty cool. This is the ultimate uh, Namor Ruffs um, 500. And, and, you know, we were talking about this, uh, uh, Jeff and, uh, and I. We were saying that the one up in the left, top left there, kind of looks like what they use for the movie, maybe. So, uh, you know. It's kind of neat stuff right there, but oh, with like a necklace, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love this and one. Here's a cover to Miss Marvel number fifty variant cover, only thirteen hundred for a Greg Land cover. It's not bad, guys. That is not bad. I like her hair. Yeah, I wish. I love how you the the the, the, uh, the tonal work and everything. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I like how you talk about the art, and I'm like, I just like how voluminous her hair is. <laughs> <laughs> I have Mandalorian number four cover, 3,500 for you Mandalorian Those Star Wars fans out there. Get your hands on a published cover. Very cool. A Thunderbolts number 150. Look at all the characters on there. 3,200. I see a Thor. There's Thor, Cap, <laughs> Juggernaut, all kinds of people in there. Yeah. That's cool. Monica needs glasses. I do. I do, I do. Any Ghost Rider fans out there? Uh, Black Viper, oh, you just I, named I, I that thing. I'm going to take the banner down so you can see probably 3,500 for this one, guys. And then um, if you want to claim a piece, just go ahead in the chat, just write claim, and then... Um, With the letter... They're all lettered. This one's number eight. Number. <laughs> Letter H. If you want to go back and want me to go back and show anything else, just let me know. I can certainly do that also. Love this one. Love this one. This is Uncanny X-Men number 53 or 531, I mean. Cover. Love oh, and then Ken, someone already bought the Miss Marvel cover from Greg, he said. Okay. Uncanny accent. Oh, I like this one with the tubes. Yeah. Who's in there? Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's a she hole cover. 2500. And there's a lot of cover. We do have some sequential. So here's a, a Avenging Spider Man. Issue four, page eight for 200. I love that second panel. Spider-Man with all the webs. Uh, 
So I told you there's, a, there's, a, there's an eclectic amount of art in here. So we go from covers, we go to some sequentials. <clears throat> Here's Iron Man issue two, page 19 for 250. Lots of Iron Man action in here. Nice smoke. And here's another Iron Man page, uh, issue four, page 16 for 350. A half splash. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, that's nice. That's cool splash. Yes, so uh, these are all traditional, correct, Ken? Yes, yes. Yep. Uh, Uncanny X-Men. Issue 12, page 20. Yeah, no blue line here, guys. They're all uh, either inked by Greg or Jay Lyston. Uh, yeah, I love this one. The Phoenix Force at the bottom. you got Cyclops, Emma Frost. Uh, I do like this page. Yeah, it's a great page. Yeah, I like that bottom. Astonishing X-Men. Issue 17, page 18, is it? I can't say it's too small. Put it does say 18. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're correct. $300 on that one. Havoc. Oh, that is Havoc, huh? Yeah. Havoc and Beast. Oh. Uncanny X Men, issue 5, page 3 for 300. Magneto featured on this page. So, any Magneto fans out there? <clears throat> Ooh. Then Spider Man issue four, page nine. Nice big splash with Spidey on it for 900. Oh, I wish I could like zoom in. <laughs> I want to see like the details on that sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. I wish there was a way I could zoom in in too. But <laughs> this is the this is right. big as I can get it on, on uh, StreamYard. Not to make your job harder, Ken, but I'm just exactly. saying. This is uh, Fantastic Four, issue two, page 12. Or I'm sorry, uh, Future Imperfect, issue two, page 12. I actually own a page, like three pages after this. I like uh, the like Maestro the thing. Yeah. Blocking. Maestro oh, and Versus. then, Ken, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, how much was the Ghost Rider? Someone's asking. The Ghost Rider. 35. There you go, Chris. Annabelle. All right. And so, sorry, guys, these are tiny. So if I s click on one that I've already did, no, there you go. Yeah, good Ooh, guess. Oh, is that Magneto? Yeah, I just showed this page. So, this, yeah, this is uh, Uncanny X Men issue five, page three for 300 with Magneto all over it. That's cool. <clears throat> what I showed. That one I showed. That was the last one. Uh, how about this? I love this one. Uh, this is a. Uh, Marvel two and one legacy issue one page three for twelve fifty with the thing just and uh, human torch coming in there smacking down some scrolls. I was gonna say are those the scrolls? <laughs> knocking them around. Mm -hmm. Poor friends. <laughs> and this is something I was actually considering picking up. Featuring perfect number two, the cover. Only twenty three hundred. Cool. Nice drawing a thing, duking it out. I like his take on the thing in this one. Yeah, I like the way he draws the thing. He doesn't get he. I mean, he gives him the the uh, the rock look, but it's mm -hmm. almost a smoother look to him. Yeah. You know? So uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm getting a message from. Uh, <laughs> I think they're coming on now. So Greg should be here any second. We'll show another piece of art. Ooh. This is a Weapon X, issue four, page two, splash. Wait, how much is that? Not right. Sure it is. 700? 700. Sorry, guys. I'm getting all up in here. <laughs> Good thing <laughs> I'm not on my phone. I'm actually on a computer. That's only 700? That's only 700. Can, Can you believe it? Can That's you me. believe it? Uh, how about Timeless, issue one, page uh, 19? Look at Ooh, Kang. Yeah. Kang fans. This is the one. And then there's an offer, Ken, for 650 on the Avenging Spider-Man. 
Let me uh, hold on. Here comes Greg. Oh, sorry, Chris. You got to wait. Mr. Greg Land. How are you, sir? Can he hear us? Oh, he's messing with his volume. <laughs> Can you hear us, Greg? I'm guessing not. Times like these, I wish I could read lips. It's. I don't um, know. <laughs> well, there you go. I think they're probably look like they're trying to use a phone. Oh, they might have to like allow access. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? They might have to do like the. Computer app or there, there might be a there might be an allow access to your phone option. If you want to pop out and pop back in, try that. I don't know if you can hear us or not. I don't think he can hear you. <laughs> I'll send him a text. Hold on. <clears throat> and then Chung, I do not think Greg will be taking commissions at this time. It's just an art drop. Hold up a written page to communicate. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just sending him a message real quick. Yep. Uh, so, uh, Black Panther guys? Anyone? Yeah, I didn't see Black Panther. I told him to log out and log back in. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, anyway, let me let me show another piece of art over here. Scarlet Spider cover, 2200. And uh, here's a Spider Woman, issue four, page 17, 350. Oh, they're back in. Let's now see. they can hear. Now they can hear. Hey, <laughs> hey. Thank Listen, you. Greg, I really appreciate this. I know the Packers are on. Yeah, they're getting on. <laughs> this, just, this, this, this is a huge done. sacrifice you're making for us, and I love it. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I, I just got done working, so George was yelling at me, telling me I got to get down here and take care of this stuff. And, and so, <laughs> Yeah, I just got done laying out some uh, roughs for a new variant cover. Excellent, excellent. Anything you can tell us about? Uh, it's it's for Captain Marvel. Can't really tell you what's going on on the on the okay. page because uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how far along they are on announcements. But uh, yeah, she's definitely on there. Excellent. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on. We won't keep you too long. Um, yeah, no problem. We just wanted to uh, uh, let everybody see your face and uh, you know let them know what you're working on. And I see, obviously, you're working on a cover. Are you working on any books currently? Yeah, I'm on a, a, a issue of the uh, Avengers uh, All Out. Excellent. Uh, the seventh issue of that. Excellent. If anybody has any questions they want to throw in the comments too, you can certainly do that. We can uh, we can ask Greg. Um, Oh yeah, I mean, uh, you're you've had such a great career. Where did you get your start um, in the uh, comic book industry? Well, I got I got into the comic book as a professional a little bit later in life. Um, straight out of college, I was working for a screen print company, and so I spent about well ten years a little plus doing screen print artwork, which you know would be anything that would be designed on uh, apparel. You know, it could be a one day I'm drawing a cutesy teddy bear design. The next day would be a professional or college sports team logo uh, and everything in between. So I did that for 10 years and I was coming up on 30 years old and I always wanted to do comics and I had, you know, submitted some stuff while I was in college and got the, you know, the rejection letters. Thank you, but no, thank you at this time. So I decided, you know, put my best efforts forward, put together a, a comic book portfolio because, you know, showing them my screen print stuff wouldn't, you know, get me very far, you know, showing the comic book editors. Right. So I put together some stuff and went to my first conventions, you know, when I was 30, 31. And that's when I finally got some uh, small press stuff. And I was able to parlay that at a, another show down the road and got myself in front of uh, some editors with uh, some of the bigger companies. And I was fortunate enough to uh, get a call back from uh, Pat Garrahy, who was uh, one of the editors in the bat office at DC. Okay. Wow. Excellent. So the first book they put you on? Uh, it was the New Titans Annual, and it okay. was the 
five edition. Oh, okay. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And so did you work with East DC for a while before you switched over to Marvel? Yeah, I was with them for, for a few years. Um, I did Nightwing, uh, did Birds of Prey, and then some one shots in between uh, before uh, making the move down to Florida to, to go to work for CrossGen uh, at the end of 2000. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, is there is there a favorite work that you have? I mean, is, is there any particular book or that you're mm. most proud of that you did? I mean, there's a lot of things, you know, that that I like that I've done. I mean, you know, working on the uh, uh, Marvel Zombies in Ultimate Fantastic Four, that was a lot of fun. Uh, the Symbiote Spider-Man run, you know, that we did, we ended up doing like 20 issues of that. That was a lot of fun because it was set and it was more of a period piece. So got to draw a lot of the classic Spider-Man villains. You know, that, that was you know a dream come true for you know a kid like me that grew up reading comics ever since i was like five or six years old yeah. and uh, this all out avengers that i'm working on right now is is a lot of fun as well because getting to do a lot of action stuff uh you know i i'm not real big on like when things get real quiet and we've got a lot of headshots and you know we're just <laughs> mulling things over you know it, it, I know, I know that you, you've you got to have those pages in terms of, you know, telling a story, but I, I really like this all out where, you know, page one, bam, we're right in the middle of the action. And then we go yeah. from there and, you know, then we kind of figure out what, what's really going on. Yeah. It's, it's funny. I've heard a lot of artists say that too. It's like, man, there's a lot of talking in these comics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> you know, there's only so much you can do when you're sitting two characters sitting in a diner or, you know, on the couch talking, you know, it's, kind of hard to you know, make that look too interesting exactly exactly who's doing the writing on the, uh, the book uh, you're Derek landy is uh writing the avenger stuff yeah excellent excellent is, is there any writer in the, in the in your past that you that you uh above all thought was uh, the most fun to work with oh you know peter david he wrote the the symbiote stuff and you know i've worked with him on like um oh um, one of the Hulk uh, projects, you know, he, he wrote the five issues of that that I worked on. Uh, it had the uh, oh, the older version of the Hulk uh, from the future with yeah, the, the Maestro, white, yeah. yeah, yeah, Maestro with the big yeah. white beard and all. Yeah. Um, you know, down at, here at Cross Gen, you know, I got to work with Ron Mars, and you know, we created that whole uh, Sojourn story. Uh, that was a, that was an awful lot of fun. You know, getting to start, do something totally from scratch, you know, and build this whole universe and, and the characters that go along with it. A lot of fun. Yeah, Annika and I were just talking about your, um, we love how you draw the thing. Yeah. Because you give yeah. him a, um, a smoothness almost to a rocky form. Uh, yeah. To, to I, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of, you know, the Kirby stuff and the John Bushima stuff. So mm -hmm. even though I don't really draw like those guys, I look at what they, how they handle them, and then I try and incorporate those type of uh, ideas in, in, in the way I draw them. So to give them that kind of classic, you know, squared up boxy look. Were they your influences uh, when you were growing up mostly? Yeah, yeah, both of those fellows and Gil Kane, uh, you know, with all the, on the Spider Man books are probably some of my, you know, most favorites. Did you ever get to meet any of those guys in your, in your career? No, I didn't. Unfortunately, oh, no. I did not. No. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, some some sometimes you do. So you know, other times you just get in. Yeah, get, you probably get it. Like you said, you got into the game a little later, I guess. Yeah, so. I mean, in terms of uh, you know some of the the older artists, you know that I kind of grew up with. Uh, mm -hmm. I did get to meet and talk with uh, Jim Stranko a couple times, mm -hmm. and you know he, he's a real classy guy and and very fun to to talk with. Excellent. Yeah. Um, yeah, so do we have any questions in the uh, – um, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything in the comments. Just a lot of highs and uh, – Praise for, for the for the beautiful – you certainly do draw beautiful women. Uh, yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah. That's, hey, it's a tough job that somebody's got to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because sometimes, well, you know, I, I do a lot of commission lists with different artists and things like that, and uh, we'll get, a, we'll get a, a, a request across the line. It's like, how would you want him to draw that? He's not oh, gonna draw. He's not gonna draw a beautiful woman. 
Yeah. You know, on t in terms of my uh, commissions, I'd say probably 90 to 95 percent are uh, female characters that I get asked to draw. Do you prefer drawing female characters over male characters? Does it matter? Oh, it's all fun to me, you know. Yeah. But I, I do enjoy, you know, drawing good looking yeah. women. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It doesn't yeah. hurt. Is, is there any is there any book that you that you haven't worked on or a character you haven't drawn that you would love to sink your teeth into as an artist? Oh, I, I'm not sure that you know I can think of a, anything in particular other than you know I, I I still think I've got a few things I could do with the Fantastic Four, uh, mm -hmm. you know that I didn't get to do in the uh, the twelve or so issues I did, you know, with the Ultimate Fantastic Four. Uh, I, you know, I think that would be a lot of fun and to have them face some of their classic, uh, you know, villains, uh, like Annihilus, uh, mm. you know, maybe Blastar, you know, some, some of those great Kirby characters from, uh, those first hundred issues. I think something like that would be a lot of fun. So, so I, I've heard a lot of artists also say that, what did you, what was Jack Kirby thinking when he designed Galactus? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. He's, because he's so he's, there's so he's much big, to do. He's, yeah, he's, he's big, <laughs> and he you know definitely cuts a, a silhouette that you will know who it is <laughs> right you know, right right off the bat. And that's something too you always want to try when you're designing things is to think about what that silhouette looks like. Um, you know, a lot of great characters. You know, you can tell who they are just because of that. You know, something that's uh specific to that one character you know like in terms of him he's got the the big helmet with the oh, yeah. all the side pieces that go up like that so boom immediately you know who it is uh, yeah so yeah sometimes you know when you're doing stuff like that you want to see you know think okay when they turn in profile you know what do you do with the the head mm -hmm. you know is the head like if it's an alien do you elongate it or you know do you make it tall or you know do you have squiggles coming out of the side of it you know, something to make it unique and, you know, make it kind of uh, very eye-catching. Yeah. Uh, we did have a question from the uh, from the chat. I said, do Greg and Jay work in the same studio? He inks over old Greg's original pencils. Uh, back at CrossGen, um, we contacted Jay to come down here and actually work with me in the studio at CrossGen. Uh, when CrossGen, you know, dissolved, uh, Jay lived down here in Florida for a while, uh, but then he eventually moved back up to his hometown of Louisville. So uh, he's in Louisville. I'm down here in Florida. And, you know, we communicate usually by text. And then when it's time for me to send stuff up to him, I get it all boxed up and FedEx it up there. Yeah, and you do work traditionally. Um, have you dabbled in um, uh, any of the um, you nah, know, on, digital I, stuff? No, nah, I just don't. Uh, I'm not versed enough, you know, just basically because I've never, you know, wanted to learn how to, you know, draw with the, you know, stylus and the, you know, and a, uh, the computer world like that. So basically, I just use a computer to, you know, check my emails and do Google searches, you know, for reference and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was in Greg's studio. It, it, it's very large and there's art everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a mess actually, but it, it's an organized mess. I know it's an organized mess. I've seen, I've he seen. Exploded up there. Yeah. <laughs> hey Trish, how you doing? Good. Uh, yeah, my, yeah, I, I was, I was here in downstairs and in one of the spare bedrooms, and you know, I, I had gotten to the point where I just had a path to walk through to get to my uh, table. So that's when we moved myself upstairs to where I've got more room to, you know, have my yeah. stuff. It, Trish wants FedEx boxes for Christmas. <laughs> I need them, right? That and, uh, <laughs> that and those plastic liners, you know, the uh, the film covers for the pages. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, I mean, uh, I went over there and uh, I took a bunch of pictures, you know, some of the art that I'm, we're showing up today and everything. And, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot. He's got such a such a long career and so so, so much art. And like I said, he works traditionally. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, it was fun to see all that stuff. Yeah, paper um, everywhere. Paper everywhere. Paper, paper everywhere. Yeah. Uh, and tools of the trade. I mean, do you prefer uh, certain types of paper? Do you like the Marvel paper? I've heard everyone say the Marvel paper is so great compared to other stuff. Uh, yeah, I like it. Um, you know, at, at first I liked a, a little bit of a texture to the page. 
you know, where you can, you know, feel it, um, mm -hmm. where it will like actually bite the, you know, the pencil lead when you're going across it. But nowadays it seems like most of the paper you get uh, sent to you from Marvel is the, the smooth and it works just, just as fine. So it all depends what you get used to working with. Yeah. And then sometimes for like my commissions, I'll, you know, go to Hobby Lobby and pick up, um, you know, some paper there. And a lot of times it's um, uh, on recycled paper uh, mm. and mm. It, it works out about the same. So, you, you know, you just uh, kind of know. The, the only thing I don't like working on is the old uh, Marvel blanks when they first started doing those. Oh, and they, slick. Were, they were print yeah. on the inside. Well, as a result, the paper on the outside had like a, a I don't know, a slickness to it or something. Yeah. And there's certain pens that you, if you put on there, chances are, and you run your hand over it while you're working on it, you're going to pick that up and you're, you know, you're going to have a lot of uh, ink on the palm of your hand and it, it, it would smudge very easy, but they've, they've gotten that figured out. And, you know, the, the cover stock they use now is very good, you know, uh, a, a great surface to draw on. Yeah, yeah. I, I brought John Reedy Jr. to shows this year, um, and we, I bought a bunch of issues of um, Amazing Spider-Man number one because uh, they rebooted it. And uh, oh, okay. the cover is beautiful, except it is so slick. Mm. I mean, I ruined it, a couple copies just trying okay. different pens. different. And then I had to call my buddy Bill Morrison and say, Bill, what do I try to He said, try a Posca. So I went out and bought some Poscas, and they were able to – I mean, literally, you, 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 he, we would sign it. And you would actually see the ink just bead. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. It was so glossy. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've seen some covers like that where it, it doesn't take it at very well at all. Yeah. You know, Marvel did some, uh, oh, like 3D covers uh, a while yeah. back. And some mm -hmm. of those are like that. And whatever it is they use to get the 3D effect, you know, it just, the ink doesn't adhere to that very well at all. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I know I, I saw you at um, uh, a show in Ocala. You're starting to get back into the show circuit a little bit more. I know. Yeah, last year we went to a, a, a couple that we could drive to. Uh, so in 23, we're thinking about actually getting back on a plane and, you know, hitting some shows out of state. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Yeah, they're, the shows are always fun to go to, you know, get a chat to new folks and see some old friends and, you know, uh, and plus, you know, it, for me, it's kind of work, you know, because fortunately I get a lot of commissions and so I spent most of my day with my head down drawing, but, you know, I've got my lovely assistant and wife here that, and, you know, people would much rather talk with her than me anyway, so. It, it works yeah. out pretty good. I love the cons myself. <laughs> I, I know. I, I know. I, I go there and I sit and I spend the whole time talking to Trish. It's like great, yeah. like background noise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't want to disturb him because his head's down. He's doing stuff, you know, and uh, he looks so intense on what he's doing. You don't want to talk to him. Uh, mm -hmm. break, his, break his concentration. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when you do your covers, you tend to ink those yourself, right? But and, right. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. 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 I noticed that, and then uh, you work with Jay Lyson, obviously, with. Uh, the interior. Yeah, yeah, I've been working with Jay for quite a few years now. Uh, Jay does an excellent job, and uh, you know, it, it, it's great to work, you know, as a team that you know where guys, you know, know what each other are wanting out of the you know finished product. You know, yeah. we don't have to. I don't have to worry about him doing something that that would be crazy on the page, you know, because I try and be pretty specific on what I draw, and then you know maybe make a note or something like that or jay's got the freedom you know to come in with some splats or some dry brush you know uh, whatever it takes to make the, the image look as good as it can within the confines of you know deadlines and all that stuff because you know we'd always like to spend more time on these on on every page if we could but you know you, you just gotta you know get it done as, as best as you can and then move on to the, the next page yeah. 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 And, and, you know, it's great that you guys, you know, have such a great relationship. Having spoken to a lot of artists, uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of pencilers who don't like the inkers and, you know, they, they, they just can't find somebody that they, that inks their stuff the way they want it to. So they end up doing a lot of it themselves. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, right, right. you know, there's very, you know, like Junior and Scott Hanna. I mean, I know those two work well together and, uh, mm -hmm. but yeah. Uh, you don't see that a whole lot anymore, uh, where people you know get a team and they and they roll with it. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's 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 important to you know that that the two people mesh, you know, and then you know mesh with the the colorist as well. Uh, yeah. It, you know, if people are on different pages and, and you know, like say a colorist renders faces totally different than what the artist is is drawing, then there, there can be problems there. And what yeah. I mean by that is if, if say like I tend to draw more realistically, you know, not cartoonish, not anime. And when you go to color, if you try and put too many colors and you start distorting the shapes that are drawn, it, it can make it look pretty funky. So, you know, fortunately, uh, 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 like right now, I'm working with Frank Dar Darmada primarily. And, you know, he's, mm -hmm. he's got a really good handle on things. Uh, oh, excellent. So, you know, he makes things look really nice. I just got a, uh, a cover in from him this morning. And... Uh, looks beautiful you know really oh, does so nice. it, it's gonna be neat when when folks get to see it excellent excellent uh if anybody else has any questions i don't want to keep uh, greg too long he's probably already missed the first quarter <laughs> <laughs> yeah and unfortunately so far this year green base not, not been doing so <laughs> uh, I, I at least got to go see what's happening <laughs> well uh, listen greg thank you so much for coming out and doing this um, oh, my pleasure thank you and uh, I, I will probably be uh over your house in the next week or two to pick some art up and uh <laughs> hey, that great. That i will great. see you I, then i hope everybody enjoys seeing the artwork you know coming up and uh, yeah let's, let's let's sell some of this stuff excellent Send thank you so much at home thank you yes definitely and thank you trish <laughs> thanks Thanks so much. <laughs> nice seeing you guys. Bye. All right. Thank you so Bye. much. Thanks, Take care. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. He's an Alabama guy. He always says to me, Roll yeah, Tide. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, that's not, that's, that's not a Packers thing. That's a Bama thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. I, think he, I, I, don't know, I think his daughter goes to Alabama or he, I don't know. Uh, like every, every time I talk to him, he always says, Roll Tide. Roll Tide. All right. Before we get started, Ken. Yes. There was quite a while ago an offer from Chris for six fifty for the Avenging Spider-Man. Avenging Spider-Man. Uh, hold on oh. one second. Paul. That, that was the uh, that was the uh, splash page, right? Yes. Oh no, that one. I can't. I'm sorry, guys. This thing is so small on the uh, on the screen here. It's hard for me to see where it is. I don't know. Oh, isn't it? Oh, I thought I had it. Ah, right, we're gonna run through it again anyway. <laughs> And then um, Will Gabrielle wanted to claim the Uncanny X Men 531 cover. Okay. So, Will, if you, oh, it's not scrolling, Ken. What's that? You send an email, Will. Oh, hold on. I, I took it down because <laughs> it was blocking some of the. Uh, the pay, the prices. The, yeah. yeah, let me see if I can find the Avenging Spider Man real quick. I don't think. Um, I don't think. Uh, what did he say? 650? Mm -hmm. I think it was yeah, nine, maybe. Yeah, no, that's that's not gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. So. No, no. The, I, hold on, I gotta find it. <laughs> so, Will, if you could go ahead and oh, thank you. I appreciate you acknowledging me, Will, <laughs> and my <laughs> no sounding voice. That Anthony says sounds like a Smurf. Is that what he said I kind of like? <laughs> I'm out you, Anthony. <laughs> All right. Well, I do. There, I think there's a few. There's a couple pieces I didn't get to, so I want to get to those real quick. Um, when I get to the Avenging Spider-Man, I'll let you know what the best price I can do on that. So, here's an Iron Man one variant cover. Is he sp featuring spray Deadpool? painting? He's spray yeah, painting. Yeah, spray painting the, uh, the Iron Man the Iron Man suit, the Deadpool. Yeah, I mean, well, of, course of course he is. He is. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? <laughs> That one is 22. Uh, Scarlet Spider. I think I showed that one, right? That one yeah. is also 22. Um, this is Spider Woman, issue four, oh, page 17. A dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. Anybody knows me? I love dinosaurs. <laughs> and then, how about that Namor? Ultimate Fantastic Four, page 20, or issue 24, page 24. But is it Namor? Is it Namor? No more, nay more, some more, <laughs> no more. Who knows? No more. Oh. Who knows? Is that a spoiler? Mm. Oh, anyway. All right. So let's run through this real quick. Uh, 
Maybe not so quick. Before we run through it, Billbot says smash that like button. Billbot, so, smash that seven. like button. Repeat what Billbot says. <laughs> and then Black Viper says if you're looking for a still, the, um, or Jeffrey, sorry, the Spider Man was Q. Q. Oh, hold on. Q. Since I put him in alphabetical order, I can. Uh, bang. Boom. Yeah. Bang. There it is. This one, um, yeah, the, the best price I'd be able to do on this one would be uh, eight fifty. There I you go. I don't, I, I don't have a huge margin on a lot of this stuff, guys. So um, I'll work with you the best I can if I can. But uh, and yeah, that piece, I was, I was, I was tight on that one. Uh, but let me run through them again. So we'll start with right. A. So this is Wolverine cover sixteen hundred for the Wolverine cover. These comments are cracking me up about Namor. <laughs> Namor. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, here's Cyclops number four cover. What's this? Oh, X Men. I'm in like Wakanda mode. Wakanda forever? Yeah, I'm in Wakanda. I just saw it. I'm like, oh, it's Wakanda forever. <laughs> Ooh, Jeffrey, I don't think so, but we're not What's doing that? a op, right, with Greg commissions anytime soon. We are not. We are not. Uh, I think Greg does his stuff himself. Um, you got to go find him at a con. You got you to gotta find him, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I could talk him into it, I certainly would try. Um, I would love for Ken but, to talk him into it. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll be going over to their house again in a couple, you know, next week or so, and, uh, you know, maybe I'll bring donuts and and bribes <laughs> packer stuff and you know yeah nice. just next time you see him bring him some packer stuff and you know just ask him if you can jump on his commission list while you're at a show <laughs> apparently yeah. he draws at shows so yeah so right, these here. are name more roughs mm -hmm. um 500 those are really cool yeah you don't see a lot of his pencils huh Exactly. I'm actually surprised no one jumped on this. Uh, I thought for sure this would be a piece that people would be all over. Um, here's the Mandalorian number four cover, 3,500. And uh, you, you don't see a lot of Star Wars cover art. So mm -mm. this is really a, really a great opportunity to grab something. And, and like I asked Greg, you know, he, he inks all of the covers. So the inking on these is, is done by, uh, by him. Uh, mostly also, I believe it's Jay Lyston. It's written. He the one thing I love about Greg is he writes everything on what what it is. Mm -hmm. you know, I didn't. I don't have to guess. You know, he writes on it. This is Mandalorian issue four. <laughs> yeah. yeah, by Greg ahead. and Jay, or just by Greg. Yeah. <laughs> and then, sorry, can shipping is shipping uh, twenty five. And then there is the four percent processing. Four percent processing. Fee, yeah. Annika is the uh, invoicing person, so. Uh, <laughs> if there's any issues with your invoice, just let me know. <laughs> that's right. Don't she bother. Will tell you, Don't she bother. will tell you no. <laughs> uh, Thunderbolts number 150 cover, 3,200. A lot of characters on here, well, 3,200. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. And here's the Ghost Rider. This is why I had the, that's why I took the uh, the scroll down, because it was covering mm -hmm. up the uh the bottom banner. Um, yeah, Ghost Rider cover. 35. And this one was claimed, right? Yes, it was by Will. And I'm very jealous because Ken and I have talked about how much we like little tubies. Yeah, I was actually going to buy this cover uh, if, it, if it didn't sell during the show. So thanks for saving me uh, some cash there, Will. Because uh, <laughs> I was I was gonna buy this cover if no one bought it. It's a great cover. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have that that line, right, Ken? That was a mistake. Oh yeah, it was probably something I did when I was putting in the uh, <laughs> yeah you know, the text by accident. I use an iPad, so if I happen to brush my finger across, it'll draw a line on it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. She Hulk cover, <clears throat> twenty five hundred. He does do really pretty. Girls, and if there's anything that anybody's looking for in particular, I actually have a lot of other stuff. I just didn't want to offer up. I actually, I I, I took photos of 130 pieces when I was at Greg's place. 
So I'm only offering up 26 pieces here uh, on calf. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of art that I that I actually have. So if there's something in particular you're looking for from a, sp a specific issue or specific character, I may actually have something for it. <clears throat> And here's uh, the Avenging Spider-Man, number four, page eight for 200. That's got uh, Spider-Man. You got a Hawkeye in there shooting some arrows. And some that? Yeah. It's Hawkeye, man. I can see it now. <laughs> <laughs> and Iron Man, issue two, page 19. Lots of Iron Man action in there. More X Men covers and pages. Uh, yeah, I've got some more. Um, and DC stuff. If you guys are interested in anything specific, just you can now, send an email. The only thing he had was was Nightwing stuff when I was at his place that I saw, and um, there wasn't any Nightwing on any, any of the any of the panels or anything. So it's like all the Nightwing's gone. It's all gone. I guess it was so long ago. It was just stuff he had left over. So there really wasn't any DC stuff of note that I could have uh, could have offered up. Uh, here's another Iron Man page issue issue four page sixteen. This one was obviously done by Greg and Jay. You can see up top because Greg labels everything beautifully. Love it. And here's an uncanny X Men page. Number page 12, or I'm sorry, issue 12, page 20. Yep. For 325. Sorry, Ken, there's another offer. Yeah. 150 for the last Avenging Spider Man. I don't remember what level that is. This one? Yeah. I, is this the one, Jonathan? Yeah. I know that name. <laughs> so know this is uh, this is issue four, page eight. Is this the one you want, Jonathan? If you want that for one fifty? I can I can do I can do one fifty on this one if you want. So just let us know any comments. Yes, that That's is it. Wonderful. Excellent. All right. So you got that? You wrote that down? Yeah, I got it. I got it. That's why I'm here, Ken. That's only oh, why I'm here. <laughs> and then um, Tam D1 is asking if he could claim N for 300. So I don't know what the price point was off. For Sorry, guys. I don't have the list. I'm just the messenger. N. And that is uh, uncanny. Issue 12, page 20. I, you know what? I was a dummy. I have this huge list here, three pages of art. And I should have just labeled everything, and I didn't. I'm a dummy. Uh, so I have to look for it real quick. Um, so uncanny, you said 12, 20, right? Page 20, yeah, for 300. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I was gonna do it, and then uh, the day just got away from me, and uh, and that was that. This is why I only do invoices, guys. <laughs> and work. <laughs> back end work. I don't do the back end, guys. Do, 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 do. I will ask for you, Mac Maki Poo Poo, in a minute. What's that? If you got any Conan art hidden, no Conan art. No, unfortunately, there. I didn't. I don't even know if he had any Conan art when I was there. Um, I don't remember. And then, Paul, if you want to see the other stuff that Ken has, go ahead and um, just send us an email at four C. What was the offer on this one? Uh, three hundred. Yeah, we can do that. So Tam D one. We can do 300 if you could please send us an email with your email so I can invoice you. <laughs> <laughs> can you just send me an email with your email or just the piece that you wanted or Hold your on. YouTube name? 
How's that? Scrolling on the bottom. Yep. <clears throat> at 4ccomicart at gmail.com. I will go ahead and get you settled up tonight. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know, remember where I where I left off. Uh, we were um, we were somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can always go through it again if people want. Um, so that one was sold. Uh, here's the Astonishing X Men. <clears throat> Uh, this is 217, page 18 for 200. Got Havoc in there, Beast, Blackbird, lots of good stuff. Has Greg ever done Daredevil? I don't think he has. Has he? I, I didn't see any Daredevil when I was there. That's 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 100% sure, for sure. There you go, Chris. <laughs> Here's another Uncanny X-Men, uh, issue 5, page 3, Magneto. Doing, mm. some, doing his thing on there. And this one was uh, somebody had offered on there, but yeah, Avenging Spider-Man, issue four, page nine. Um, I think I offered it up for eight fifty. Mm -hmm. So if anybody's interested in that, eight fifty would be the lowest I could go on that one. Yep. I like that one. I like his skin. Future Imperfect, issue two, page twelve. Maestro and the Thing. I think the entire issue is just those two. Duking it out. Duking it out. Just going ham on each other. That's pretty cool. Especially since he likes the fight scenes. Yeah. yeah he probably had a great, a great time doing that issue. Yeah. And That's here's Marvel 2-in-1 Legacy, number one, page three. <clears throat> Splash page featuring a thing, Human Torch, and a bunch of scrolls getting their heads knocked in. Oh, thanks, Steve, for the Daredevil information. There you go, Chris. <laughs> and here's the cover to that issue, um, Thing and Maestro, Future and Perfect number two cover. Yeah, that's right, cool. Only 2,300. Easy. And back. And Weapon X. Issue four, page two, splash page featuring Wolverine, Domino, and Sabretooth. It's pretty a cover. That's a great piece. I like that a lot. And sorry, I gotta turn the turn take the banner down so you can see the price of it. <laughs> um and then Ken, someone's offering 18 on the maestro cover. The maestro that's the uh yeah, hold on a second. You know, I saw I just saw it. I literally just put my eyes on it. How much? Uh, 18. Yeah, I can't do 1,800 on that. Um, where is it? Uh, hold on. The one T. T. There it is. There it is. Future imperfect. Um, I can do I can do two thousand. There you go, Mo. Oh God, I need my glasses. Modoc Mike. If you could do two thousand, it's yours. Oh man, my allergies are getting crazy, guys. I don't know what's happening to my voice. <clears throat> All righty, I forgot where we were though. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I forget where I was too. Whoops, whoops. Oh, we're here. So this one, this is the next one. Timeless issue one, page nineteen. Is that King? That is King. He's, in, he's in there. That. He's there. He's all over the place. He's all over the place, right? He's okay, I'm not going crazy. My medicine's not making me delirious. <laughs> no. Other things might be, but. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Iron Man one cover, variant cover, um, featuring Deadpool spray painting an Iron Man suit to a Deadpool costume. Can't beat that. All you Deadpool fans out there. Yeah, I like this one. This is really funny. 2200 for the cover. And Scarlet Spider Scar a little Scarlet Spider cover. 
It's a, it's a he. It's a he. It's a he. <laughs> I already told Ken every time I hear a scarlet spider, I think it's a girl and I'm upset when it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Tricks me. Trick. And then Spider Woman, issue four, page 17. Oh, with a dinosaur. Uh, Ken, we have another offer <laughs> what do we got? for the Scarlet Spider that we just did, 1700 Scarlet Spider, yeah, no. I, mm, this, one I, this one I could do for 2000 also. There you go, Black Viper of Doom. Dorn, Dorn. Jesus, I really need <laughs> glasses. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. The best offer we can do for that Scarlet Spider is two thousand, as well. well we and gotta... Black Viper of Doom is claiming it at two thousand. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's not T. Scarlet Spider. So if you can, Black Viper, if you can send us uh, your, send us an email uh, scrolling across the, uh, the bottom there, so we can send you out an invoice. My pins on right. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, we only got a few more minutes. Is anything anybody else wants to see or wants to throw offers up at? Um, please let me know. Uh, we can. It's a uh, Dorn. I can read. It's not Doom. <laughs> you need glasses so badly. <laughs> oh, Game of Thrones, Dorn, huh? Jeez. <laughs> I gotta go take a nap, guys. This flu it's shot early. What time is it there in California? It's the flu shot. It, it got me. Is it the flu shot? Did your arm hurt? You doing a lot of this? It did hurt. It did hurt a lot. I was <laughs> <laughs> Renee's walking around the house doing it. Oh, because she just got hers too, huh? Yep. Yeah. Well, I still she like got her COVID. Uh, well, black is, well, they're both of my favorite color, so it's great. Check the um, closet for Batman art. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. I meant to say that. What we got <laughs> my closets or Greg's closets? Greg's closets. Oh, I don't know if they're letting me in the closet or not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, are these posted? Are these going to get posted on 4C? Any of the leftovers for people to see? Mm, possibly, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. So, Andrew, if you are a 4C Comics member on Facebook of our group, uh. I will try very hard to convince Ken to post them up. Otherwise, you're going to have to just uh, rewatch the feed and um, send us an email. I think the only page I had with Emma Frost was sold. That was this one, right? Isn't Emma in this one? Yeah. That one was claimed, I believe, wasn't it? Yes, by Cam D1. That was. Yeah. Sorry. Let me look real, let me look real quick at my. My stuff and see if Emma, there's any other Emma Frost in. Um, I don't think so. I don't recall <laughs> seeing her in anything. And then, <laughs> Ken, <laughs> Jeffrey is telling you to check your closets if you think you might have any <laughs> Batman art from Greg. Check my closets? Yeah, I know he doesn't. Sorry, uh, Jeff. No. no. <laughs> I don't. I don't uh, closets. I don't. I, you know. I don't really. I don't have any. I don't have any Batman art at all. Uh, barely. I think I have one. I have a the Dark Knight's metal piece from. Uh, oh, from Doug. From Doug. Another gun. Um, that piece is. But I mean, I. It's funny because when I first started collecting, I collected almost exclusively just Batman, and now I don't have a single piece with Batman. Um, which is pretty funny. Yeah, I'm looking. Have I, don't the see... who I have the Batman who laughs. I do have a Batman uh, Joker, um, like half face kind of thing from David Finch that I'll be putting up on 4C for Black Friday. Ooh, we're having a Black Friday sale? Uh, yeah, that's what Bacon told me. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, yeah, hold on a second, guys. I'm seeing if I have anything else with Emma Frost. I don't All think right. so. Paul, we're checking yeah. one last. Nope. Well, Ken yeah. is checking for Paul. 
if you guys want to, or if you're re-watching this video and you see anything that you like, uh, please send us an email at 4 at gmail.com. It's scrolling on the bottom. And we can go ahead and get you those pieces. Um, and yeah, Ken will be checking his emails. And I will be sending out invoices either tonight or tomorrow for you all. Yeah, so if anybody watches this, uh, obviously, on um, rebroadcast or anything, you can just shoot us an email to see if there's a piece that you like that might still be available. Um, I am probably going to post some of this on 4C, um, but it won't be up long if I do post it on 4C just because I have to go there and get the stuff from uh, from Greg, and I don't want to keep waiting forever um, yeah. for people to decide whether they're going to get something or not. Um Oh, there was this piece I didn't show that, that that's available, I think. No. Oh, geez. No, stop it. That's not available, Ken. <laughs> that's not a, I bought that piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Ken, is there a way that in the chat you can put, like, a link to the 4C comics? Can I do it? If you can do it, sure. Or I can try. I mean, oh, shoot. Where's bacon when I need him? Where's bacon? I say that every morning. Where's bacon? <laughs> I will try oh, and go. Sorry. I will try and put a, a chat a link in the chat. I'm just stuck. I'm stuck at four C comics. That's all I got. <laughs> Hold on a second. I think I got it. Guys, I'm not the social media person anymore. I can't be held responsible for this. <laughs> Hold on one second. I got it. Hopefully, it last time I tried to post something on this uh, this here, it didn't let me post a link for anything. So let's see if mm. it, uh, it lets me post it. Tell me if you see it. I just posted. I do. Yep. All right. So yep. that's that's a link to our page. So you can join our page, and uh, that's where you'll see everything uh, that's going on in the world of 4C. We also have 4C Comics uh, Live on YouTube. You can like and subscribe to us. Every Tuesday we do uh, we try to do sketches, uh, live sketches mm -hmm. like we did yesterday with uh, uh, Yoshi and Yoshi. His, the Japanese yes. artist. But um, you know we don't always do it every week, so we'll do an update show or something like that. We're supposed to have D Dan Parent this Tuesday. I'm just waiting for confirmation. Um, he said he was going to do it, and he hasn't responded to any email since then. So I'm still <laughs> waiting for him to decide if he's doing it or not. But we should have Dan Parent this uh, Tuesday at seven o'clock. Awesome. But, uh, Thank you that's it, guys. So um, we will. We run three minutes over. Bill's probably started another show somewhere. So thank you so much. Uh, look for the invoices for anybody who claimed anything. And um, if, if you want, if you want anything that you see, like I said, you can email us at 4ccomicart at gmail .com and uh, we will uh, see if we can pull it. And uh, again, we'll be posting stuff on 4C Comics on Facebook. Maybe tomorrow or Tuesday. I'll, I'll try. It. Yeah, tonight. <laughs> I, guess, I, do it <laughs> I got nothing else to do. Why not? Yeah, tonight. it's only like, it's only tonight, like 130 tonight. pieces, you know. Let's see. But, be tonight, all right, guys. Time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Annika, for hanging out. And thank you, Greg and Trish. And uh, we will see you guys real soon. Have a good night.